um, uh, let me teach you uh, another quick little concept that could be very useful to you. Okay? So, say you have a body that's moving with respect to another body. So say, you have, so say you have one body that's fixed to the global coordinate system here, and it's, it's fixed, it's held fixed, right? So, or or if in the apparent velocity land, it's not moving with respect you know, to, to, to the, this ground here. So, so it's, it's, imagine its velocity is zero everywhere. And then you've got this other body too, and it is moving, okay? If you knew the velocity of some point on that body, say I just gave you a point, the A, Okay, with respect to the ground or that other fixed body. Um, and I also gave you the angular velocity of the whole body, right? That everything in that body is rotating the same amount, it's omega. Remember, it only has a magnitude and a direction, it doesn't have a location. So I could move that omega circular arrow anywhere. It just tells you how you know, much theta it's rotating with respect to time at an instant and in what direction out of the page. Okay, so, so if I gave you the velocity at a point, a linear velocity, and I gave you the angular velocity, if you use this equation, you can find the instant center, okay, of that body too with respect to the fixed body ground here. And remember, if, if the other body's moving, this is all just apparent velocities, okay? So, but this is a very useful equation. And trust me, the answer is omega cross VA that I gave you, so let's check this omega is coming out at you, cross VA, so you go take your right hand through omega cross VA, it's pointing in that direction, and then you divide it by the magnitude of omega squared, and trust me, that will give you a vector that points in this direction, the length of which points right to the instant center, P12 or 21, which is where they both have the same velocity, which velocity in this case is zero, because this at coordinate system is fixed, okay? So that's really useful to know. Uh, if, so basically, you just need to know the angular velocity of a body and the velocity of one point on that body, the linear velocity of one point on that body. And using this equation, it'll tell you where its instant center is. Okay? And if you want a derivation of this, you can use the velocity difference equation. Okay? You can imagine we know the velocity of this, it's VA, and we want to march to the velocity of that. So we take plus omega of the body cross RP1, okay, right here. That'll get the velocity of that, which you know equals zero because it has the same velocity. If it's truly the instant center, it has the same velocity as this, which is zero. Everything's not moving on the ground. And then you can rearrange this and do math magic, and you get this. That's how they derived it. Okay? Okay. So with that, let me pause this a bit, and we'll return in a sec.